Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. Well, I woke up this morning to some beautiful sunshine. The weather is starting to change in the 604 and we're getting more and more days just like this. And I came to realize just how neglected these two vehicles in my driveway have been. The 1LE with its winter rolling stock and dirty exterior could almost pass as an average Joe four-cylinder LT Camaro. And the Avalanche, well, she was just plain filthy. So I grabbed my bucket and soap, added some hot and cold water, and got to work giving these two a well-deserved bath. Now I had to wash the 1LE twice, as the black paint really held on to all that dirt that accumulated over the winter. But eventually, she started to look like herself again. And the wheels, well, they were the hardest to get clean. But with a lot of elbow grease, they started to come around as well and started looking just like they used to. And once I had her looking good again, I moved on to the truck. This 2007 Chevy Avalanche is really the unsung hero of our house. She's a family hauler, my wife's daily, a road trip vehicle, and the parts hauler, and has seen her fair share of a bed full of soil or an engine or transmission or two. She's probably been the most reliable vehicle I've ever owned, and I don't think I could ever part with her. And at 170,000 kilometers, She's got a lot of life left in her, but she's starting to show her age too. And the winter takes its toll on other things. And so I hopped in the truck and headed into town and picked up a few supplies at my local store. And with the supplies loaded in the back of the truck, I headed on home. I got to work swapping out that old hose and replaced it with the new one. Well now that we've got all that done I wanted to do something that I've seen on YouTube by a lot of different people and that is using a Sonax wheel cleaner to get rid of really dirty dirty brake deposits and clean really dirty wheels. Now the wheels on my 1LE they're pretty dirty because I track that car and I use power stop track day pads and they leave a lot of iron deposits on the wheel itself and as you see when I show you the wheel it almost looks like the wheels rusting you know impossible the wheels rusting the wheels made of aluminum but there's rust on the wheel and I've tried to scrape that off with my fingernail or tried to scrub it off while I'm washing the wheels but it's not coming off so we're gonna see really how the Sonax works and this might be its toughest challenge to date and here's a product in case anybody was wondering, Sonax Wheel Cleaner. This is what everybody says is the best on the market, so are you going to take the brake dust off of my wheels? Let's check it out. And here is my filthy, dirty front wheel. As you can see, it is absolutely filthy, but the thing I'm really concerned about or wondering, see all that right there? Can it actually get that off? That's what I'm wondering. Right here, it looks like the wheels are rusting. So we're going to try and see what this stuff can do. So here we go. First application. So it goes on a green color. And it's supposed to turn a deep red when it's actually working its magic here. So I'm going to soak this down. It's best not to do it in direct sunlight, but it's not very warm here. So I'm able to do this right now. You don't want it to dry. And they say lightly agitate it. Well, we'll get into that. I got a small toothbrush here, but... Um, Let's see if this stuff works. Now this isn't a paid advertisement. This is out of my own wallet here. So I'm just curious because I am at my wits end on how to get this stuff off. Okay, it's starting to uh, turn deep red like they say. 
And I'm going to lightly agitate it with my wife's toothbrush here. When I'm done, I'll make sure I put that back for her. Just kidding. Anyhow, so we're going to go into the corners. And this is, you know, right where we get most of that iron deposit buildup. So let's see. I'll do a little bit of agitation here. Just like you're brushing the old teeth. And we'll see how this product actually works. Especially in here. This was really, really rusty up in here. So let's get in there. We'll let that sit for a few minutes like they say on the bottle. And we'll come back. We'll see how clean that gets. All right, a few more minutes in, more agitation. And look at how dark red this stuff is turning. I mean, those wheels were absolutely disgusting. I'm curious to see what's coming off. I'm a little skeptical still, but we'll see when I hose this thing off. So we're gonna do that in a couple more minutes. All right, so let's wash this stuff off. A little bit of air in the hose that I just changed. A lot of air in the hose I just changed. Quick inspection after the first wash. I can still see some rusty stuff there, but in all honesty, extremely impressed at how much it got off. So final application here, this is gonna target all the areas that are stubborn and that didn't come off the first time. Like right in here where all the lug nuts go. And any other area right there that we did not get any of that iron deposit removed. Again, track pads, for those of you guys that track your car, track pads destroy your wheels. It just looks terrible when they look like they're rusting on you. Okay, last coat. Let's see how that goes. And when you got that murder scene look going on, you're ready to hose that off. So let's take a look. Final wash down. Okay, so. Oh, well, we can get in there. Little inspection in here. It still, still has a little bit of that rusty color. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a lot better. So I've actually got a clay bar, and I'm going to probably go over that with a clay bar. But in reality, I was skeptical, but absolutely unbelievable how much of that brake dust it got off. So here's the clean wheel one more time. And here's a dirty one. This is the other side of the front that I didn't clean yet. Absolutely disgusting. So, well done Sonax. I give it a 9 out of 10. And they're all done. So the last thing I did, which I, I didn't show, was I just used my wash mitt and I just washed them with car soap just to get everything off. I washed the inside of the barrels. I gotta tell ya, this stuff was amazing. So I was super skeptical, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, an easy 9 out of 10. So if anyone knows what I could apply to these wheels, what type of product I could put on these wheels right now when they're clean, hit me up and drop a comment below because I'd really like to know what I could do to keep these looking nice, just like this. Well, that's going to be it for this video, everyone. And remember, the best time of the year to enjoy your project car is all year round. Keep the shiny side up. i got to go learn me some turbos. Take care. And if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button for me, will ya? It really helps a guy out.